Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be using some new makeup products that I recently purchased and I have a new Hermes lipstick and this makeup look today is going to be dedicated to this new lipstick by Hermes. If you're new here, welcome. I love talking about luxury beauty and I always do my best to show you the latest luxury beauty releases. So if that sounds interesting, please be sure to subscribe and join the fun. We have amazing beauty community here and it would be such an honor for me to have you as part of this amazing beauty community. Now, this look is going to be dedicated, as I mentioned, to this new Hermes lipstick and I decided that I wanted to purchase an um, orangey lipstick from Hermes. So, let's go ahead and unbox this lipstick and actually today I'm going to show you how to create a makeup look that is dedicated to a certain lipstick. If you've never worn a lipstick and if you just purchased a new lipstick and you're not sure how this is going to go with your makeup look today i'm going to give you a few tips because i'm going to be using this lipstick for the very first time now i'm unboxing this lipstick um, right in front of you and i thought that hermes lipstick deserves some proper attention so this is number 33 and it's a beautiful orange color which to be honest is a little bit scary even. And I'm going to give you a close up of this lipstick to see how it looks. It's a beautiful orange lipstick, which I think is very suitable for the summer season. However, this is a lipstick, this is a lip color that is not very comfortable and it's not very natural for me, but look how lovely it matches my top. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you a few tips on how to use an orange lipstick if you're like me and if you feel a little bit uncomfortable and not very confident when you're wearing a orange lipstick. Now, first of all, I'm starting with my base and I already did my skincare and I used for sunscreen this sunscreen from Skin Cuticles. I really love this one. And I mentioned this sunscreen in my monthly favorites video and I thought that I left this in Venice. I thought that I forgot this one in Venice during my trip but it turns out that I didn't forget it. It turns out that it's here. So I just want to show you the consistency. I have it on my skin today and I only have a, um, a serum and this sunscreen and you can see how shiny my skin looks. It looks a little bit shiny because it's moisturizing. So this is the consistency of the sunscreen and once I blend it into my hand, it basically melts into the skin and doesn't leave a white cast. So you can see that it just completely disappears into the skin. It's very lovely. And for base, I'm going to be using a foundation by Sisley and I haven't been using this foundation for quite a while. So today I'm going to be using this foundation. I'm just going to apply a light thin layer of this foundation. Okay guys, so I want to come closer just to show you how the foundation looks on top of this sunscreen because I really, really enjoy this sunscreen and I think it looks beautiful also with makeup and it's very hard to find a good sunscreen that works well with makeup. Okay, and then for under my eyes I'm going to be using a Charlotte Tilbury concealer which I love because it conceals really nice dark circles. This one is perfect for dark circles. And I have, I've had some troubles sleeping recently. Um, didn't, I was not able to get enough sleep. So that's why I need some extra help. I'll usually skip concealer. Um, if, you know, I'm sleeping well, um, eating well, I'm usually going to skip concealer, <laughs> not being bothered, but this time I need some extra help and this concealer by Charlotte Tilbury, I find that it's the best one. And then I'm going to set everything with powder and I'm using the Sisley Loose Powder, which is my current favorite. I showed this powder in my monthly favorites video. Okay guys, and now my base is done. It might look a little bit powdery right now, but I have no more to combination skin and it's really hot in the summer. So that's why I'm applying a lot of powder because my skin is going to absorb this and I'm going to get a beautiful glow in like an hour or so. So here, customize the look according to your skin type. If you're dry, apparently you don't need that much powder. Excuse the messy hair, but I just washed it and I just have it on a messy bun, but that way you can see my face better. Okay, so now moving on to the tip that I wanted to share with you. If you have a lipstick that is somehow out of your comfort zone, like this one, for example, I would say that I very rarely would wear um, 
orange lipstick, even though it's beautiful, especially in the summer season. Summer somehow calls you for um, this lovely orange lipstick because the summer sunset, the orange colors, it's really beautiful. However, it's out of my comfort zone and I don't really know how to go about it. So if you're not sure and if you have a lipstick that is somehow out of your comfort zone, I would say do your base first and then apply the lipstick. That's how you're going to see how this lipstick is going to play with your skin tone, how it's going to play with your eye color, um, hair color. And that's how you're going to be able to look at your makeup items, look at the makeup products that you own. And that's how you're going to create the best makeup look that is going to fit this statement lipstick. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to apply the lipstick first. Normally I would usually do my eye makeup first and everything and then apply the lipstick, but this time we're going the other way around. So I'm going to be applying the lipstick first. I want to swatch this lipstick. Before swatching it, I want to give you a good close up because it is beautiful. And while it's untouched, I just wanted to show you how it looks. So lovely, beautiful orange color that just calls for a summer sunset. I love summer sunset. I love actually the summer season is my favorite. And if I could live in a place where it's always going to be summer. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this um, just to explore the color because, oops, this is really, really orange, you guys. So this is number 33 and it's really, really orange. It's actually a lot more orange than I expected. I was actually expecting that this was going to be a little bit more reddish orange, but it's real orange lipstick. I've never ever had this kind of lipstick, so this is really challenging for me. I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my lips now to see what makeup I can choose for this color in particular, but look at this color. Okay, it's a shock for me because in the bullet it looks a little bit more reddish. So that's a real shock for me. Let's share this moment together and see what's going to happen. Okay guys, so this is how the lipstick looks and this is on my hand and this is on my lips. Now my hand is a little bit just a fraction darker than my face because um, I just forgot and I tend to forget to apply sunscreen on my arms. So that's why my arms are usually going to be a little bit darker, but once I apply the bronzer and the blush and everything, everything is going to come together. But this is how the Hermes lipstick looks and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fascinated, I have to say. And so what do you guys think? Now, I must admit that I, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would have never ever purchased this kind of orange lipstick, but Recently, I like and I enjoy experimenting with makeup a little bit more, so life is short. Let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. Okay, and now when you look at yourself in the mirror and choose a um, eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow color that you want to wear, if you make like this and you get the palette right next to your face, you're going to be able to see more or less if this is going to go well with the lip color that you are having. So I'm thinking of using this brown shade here, and this is from the new Cognac Rose eyeshadow palette from Tom Ford and I think that it's gonna help to bring out this orange color but at the same time it's not going to make me washed out um, and I think that I'm gonna be using this brown shade right here for my eyes um, as a main color on my eyelid so let's go ahead and try that I'm going to be using this color all over my eyelid So when you're using a lipstick that is out of your comfort zone, you have to take into you have to take into consideration your skin tone, your eye color and your hair color. So these are some points that are really important. I believe that anyone can wear any lip color. Uh, just you have to adjust the makeup look that you are wearing. So these colors of the new Cognac Rose are very creamy, really lovely. So I'm just going to roughly apply this color all over my eyelid and I'm going to blend with the other side of the brush. Okay, and now can you see that just with one color, this lip color becomes a lot more wearable on me. So this means that you've chosen the eye color right, correctly. So I'm just going to be blending, this is the only this one brown color that I've used and I'm going to be blending this with the big fluffy side 
other side of the brush. This is a Chanel eyeshadow brush and I'm going to have a link in the description box in case you want to check that out. This is my most used eyeshadow brush. I like to take it also with me when I'm traveling because it has a cap so you can easily close this and it's not messy at all and you can create a whole look using only this eyeshadow um, brush. Next for the inner corners of my eyes you can use a simply your highlighter but the color that I want to use is by Tom Ford and this is a highlighting palette. This is a palette that I actually adore and I love using it on my eyes but I haven't been using it in a while and I'm going to be using this lovely shade here. It's something like a rosy bronze color and I'm going to be applying this right in the inner corners of my eyes just very lightly here to bring some light and since this is a statement lipstick I'm not going to make the look complicated so I'm just going to leave it very simple because I think that this is going to be lovely for the summer season and then I'm going to take again this same brown color with a small brush and I'm going to be applying this color on the outer part of my lower lash line, just very lightly, only on the outer part of my lower lash line. And I'm going to keep the rest of the eye clean, actually, without any makeup. Okay, guys, now I can just curl my eyelashes and apply plenty of mascara. That's what I'm going to do. But I have an optional step. I'm going to be using the topper shade from the new Rose Prisma eyeshadow palette from Tom Ford. And... I'm just going to take it with my fingertip because I want to add a little bit of light, but this is a completely optional step. So I'm just going to dot this in the center of my eyelid. But if you don't have a topper shade, you can just leave the look like this. I just want to use this to add a little bit of light because I'm going to be in the sunshine and I think that this topper shade is actually going to catch the light in a very beautiful way. Okay so now I have the mascara on and for blush I'm going to be using one of the Hermes blushes, the peachy shade that I have, which I'm not sure exactly which shade it is. I'm going to write it in the description box but this is actually the peachy Hermes blush. I'm not really sure which shade it is so I'm going to have this um, listed in the description box because I picked one blush and I picked one refill and I'm actually using the refill now. So this is the shade that I'm using but I'm not sure what was the color so I have to see it. So you can see that I don't need a lot of color, I actually applied too much. So I don't know why, I think that the, some people were complaining that the Hermes blushes were not very pigmented. On me they are really pigmented, you can see that like a couple of swipes and I already have plenty of blush. And to be honest, actually in my experience it's very easy to get carried away with the Hermes blushes and I usually get carried away so that's why I have to now take down the blush a little bit because it's a little bit clownish. Next I want to be using this highlighter from Tom Ford and I'm actually going to apply this lightly on my cheeks, like up on my cheeks, just to add some light. Because this highlighter on its own is a little bit dark for me, but when I apply it on top of blush it somehow changes the color a little bit and makes it really lovely. Okay, so this is what I have so far and I'm going to be using some of my Dior bronzer just right here and on my forehead just roughly, oops, what happened with my hair, um, but just a little bit to add some warmth. Okay guys, and I think this is the finished look and I'm going to take my hair down in a minute but I just wanted to show you how everything comes together. Okay guys, and I think that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video together with me and let me know in the comments below if you've tried any lipstick that is out of your comfort zone, how did everything go and are you willing to wear this kind of orange lipstick. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye!